What is going on? In this video, I will be installing some new footboards from Thrash and Supply. They're gonna look really cool on this bike. I've got rider and passenger boards going on. So stick around, we'll see what they look like. Hey everybody, my name is Andrew. This is my YouTube channel, Touring Midwest. And we've got a ride night coming up and I just wanted to get these boards put on real quick in time for that ride. That's what we're gonna to do tonight in this video is just get these footboards installed real quick. And it's not so much a how to install footboards video because I mean, they're pretty basic, but I will take you along on the journey of installing them. Mostly we just wanna know what they look like. So these are the boards we ended up getting. This is the rider boards, and this is the passenger boards. I think they'll be pretty cool. I ended up getting these from a buddy of mine, Dominic. He had them on his road glide, and uh, he just traded that in on a different bike. So he, uh, he gave me a really good deal on these footboards from Thrash and Supply. So I'm pretty excited about it. I think it's gonna kind of finish off the look of my bike a little bit. So let's go ahead and get to work. The passenger footboard should be a pretty easy swap because he actually actually left the uh, mounts on. So I'm just gonna be able to swap the whole mount around. So I'll just be able to take this off as one assembly and replace it with this, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna leave that partially in while we remove the bottom bolt. Just replace it the same exact way. They're nice and tight right now, but we will torque them down to spec. For these, we don't have the whole mount, so we're actually just gonna remove the footboard from our existing mount. So remove that pivot pin, and then here's the other pin which we're missing a nut for. <laughs> That's interesting, right? Funny story, I actually had that nut because I knew it came off of something, <laughs> somewhere, but uh, wasn't sure where. So these are the thrashing rider boards. And down here, I don't know if you can see that, but it says made in America right at the bottom. So that's kind of cool. Now these are adjustable. So you can kind of adjust how they sit on your bike, but uh, this is already set up for for this. It's already set up for this, so we're good to go there. Oh, and these, this is pretty cool. These are threaded, so you just put the bolt in. We don't even need to worry about that nut. They're threaded here. That is really cool. So we can just put it on. Thrash and supply boards installed. I do have to adjust my Ciro frame mounted highway pegs. So this is kind of like where this 
this arm needs to be. So I'm just tightening that down and then I'll loosen this up and see if I can ouch, make some adjustments to it. I've been thinking about adjusting these anyways just to see if I can get my feet out a little further. I think we might try right there. Not the biggest deal if I don't get it right the first time. That seems pretty good. And they still tuck up here pretty nice, so. So what do you think, the thrashing supply Boards and I need to clean these up a little bit because they're pretty dirty but that's how they look now we're just going to repeat the process for the other side to finish them off you might have noticed that the new footboards don't have any, I don't know what you want to call it, absorption or whatever. Um, they're just rigid, basically rigid mounted. I don't know if that's going to take some getting used to or not. My buddy Dominic who had these absolutely loved him. So now he bought another set that are very similar for his Lowrider S. I don't know. I've always had the, the kind of absorbent footboards so i guess i'll have to come back with another video later or maybe if i have time i'll add to the end of this one after i have a chance to ride it and just let you know if i notice any difference or what i think so i'll follow up this video with that but yeah these things just look really cool they're heavy duty it's like solid aluminum and uh, they have a nice grippy texture here so you don't have to worry about your foot sliding around especially if it's raining or you know you're riding in some some wet weather like that i think the grippy texture on here is going to be pretty nice so that's it i'm going to get these installed we're going to do ride night in a couple nights i'll get back to you and let you know what i think about these books.